Today we're eating like Addison Rae, CEO of Throwing It Back having the cutest family, and somehow looking good in oversized t-shirts. However, I also look good in oversized t-shirts, have a cute family, and I'm really good at throwing it back. So, you know, twins. Today, we're not only eating like her, but we're also trying her makeup routine and dressing like her, so we can find out who the real Addison Rae is, and why the fuck she's so cute when she pouts. How the fuck? Why do I sound like I have a coke problem every time I do a pouty face? <laughs> okay, let's start with breakfast so I can turn my body magically into Addison's. Well, bam! Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with a friend, someone that you think will like walnuts because we're on the hashtag get walnuts to 1 million. Today's shout out goes to Sharvi. If you want a shout out, make sure you comment down below. Also, don't forget that I have merch that's really cute and aesthetic. Bye! So I was actually watching Addison's mom's TikTok to find this recipe, but basically she made a really cute fruit bowl for Addison and I thought it was perfect during quarantine to get some extra vitamins sometimes i forget that fruits have vitamins and are like good for you do you guys ever forget that i hope you enjoyed that slow-mo of that sexy tangerine getting undressed i plopped it down on the plate and then i proceeded to eat it like an absolute savage because it had so many seeds i had to suck out how many seeds were in that little orange i could probably plant them and grow them so then it was time to follow her makeup tutorial she posted on the youtube.com slash addison ray Hi, okay, so right now we're following Addison's makeup tutorial. I'm using a Natasha Denona palette as a bronzer because I don't have another dry bronzer, so okay. I have a feeling this is gonna come out bad because all of my makeup looks come out bad. Um, I just don't happen to be talented. And similar to my paintings that I just copy off Pinterest, I um, just kind of slop everything on and just hope for the best. I don't know why, this is like a character tree I've developed, um, just wing it. <laughs> Put a bronzer on, I'm gonna skip right into blush. And then she gets a blush stick. I have this one by Ilia. I think it's like a natural vegan brand. And she said just tap everywhere and on then on the nose. And then she did even on the forehead. Um, it's looking really good right now. Okay, next step is highlighter. Okay, then I'm just gonna blend everything in with my finger. I look like I have a sunburn. Okay, the next step is eyebrows. I use this Milk Makeup Cush Fiber Brow Gel in the color Haze because it makes my eyebrows lighter. I think my eyebrows come out like naturally black and I make them like a dirty blonde. This quarantine is really exposing my natural hair color. Highlighter, I'm getting this one by Chanel. It's a stick. I love sticks, especially big ones. I've got six lipsticks and none of them are the same color as hers. Let's see, it's like a matte pink color, huh? I have this dark blue one that comes out like blue and sparkly, which I love. Um, I have Donatella by Pat McGrath, which is like literally Donatella's lipstick color, which is so good, but it's not pink enough. I've got this one by Chanel, which is very nude, but it makes my teeth look kind of yellow because it's more blue tone and we like don't stand yellow teeth. So for lipstick, I'm gonna get this Path McGrath one and mix it with the blush because I feel like that's pretty close to the color she was wearing. Okay, then we're gonna do a shit ton of mascara. Addison's lash line is a little bit darker than mine just because she's born lucky. If you want a little bit darker lash line, just take a little bit of a dark color, a small pencil brush, and take advice from someone else because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Sometimes I look at Nick's baby blue eyes and he also has like kind of an eyeliner around them and I'm like, how were you born so lucky? Like, God clearly has favorites. Um, but it just deepens it a little bit without adding, like, any actual eyeshadow. And then to finish this tutorial, all you have to do is shut the fuck up, B, because you've been talking for so long, and actually do mascara. After 72 coats of mascara, here is the final look. I smiled, I glamorized, I pouted, and I muted it for you guys so you didn't have to hear my insane no snot go through it again. So if anyone needs a snotty, pouty girl, I'm here. After that, I wanted to make sure I also dressed like Addison so we could have the full effect, so I copied some of our outfits so I can show you guys. This portion of the video is sponsored by Shein who sent me all these clothes and if you guys do want a 15% off coupon on their website, use the code Blair Walnuts. They're really affordable so I noticed a lot of girls wearing different things in all their TikToks and I thought I should share where they get them so you don't feel left out. But I got this super cute butterfly top and that I put a white crop top on top of that had the little fuzzies on the side. I mean, you don't have to wear it like this but I think it's just so cute and adorable and I posted it on my Instagram story the other day and so many of you thought it was so cute. I felt so sweet and nice but then came out my evil dark side whoop bam <laughs> this outfit i actually decided to do because i saw that addison does a lot of her sweatsuit matching outfits and i wanted to do something similar so i got this matching sweatsuit from shein but the pieces are separate i'll link them all down in the description box if you guys want to pick them up it's a super cool 
pastel colored Mustang t-shirt and these really thick sweatpants. I'm pretty sure I got these from the men's section because their stuff is always thicker and longer. So if you do try to scam the system, that's how. They felt really good and they're some of the thickest, nicest sweatpants I have. Actually, they fit really good. They're really long and they're really thick. Thick. I'm gonna get some like cute angles for you guys, but you can take the hoe out of me, but you cannot take me out of hoeing. So I got these really nice angles. This is a butt tutorial actually on how to make your butt look big. Just sit on the edge of something and there you go, a scam. I also figured out how to throw it back. I saw this tutorial that you just said you just roll it around in a circle and I got it. I'm a genius, thank you. The next outfit I wanted to recreate was this plaid pant look she always does and I wanna do it with an angel top so I could stay true to myself. Now I don't know how I feel about this outfit. I'm gonna be completely honest. I I don't know if this like fits my vibe because I'm not used to oversized t-shirts like Addison. I like them a little bit more tighter fitted. Um, this is how the outfit looks. Let me know what you guys think down below and which outfit is your favorite. I do like these plaid pants though because the material is really thin and you can wear it in the spring summer. I love this angel shirt because you guys know I have a thing for angel shirts. They just look super cute no matter what. Then I decided to be ridiculous and dress like Addison's phone case. Yes, I am Addison's phone case in real life now. Ready? There you go. <laughs> I got this cute baby angel blue t-shirt. I really like angel tops because they say I'm sweet, I'm flirty, I'm sexy, but I'll bite your dick off so get away from me. Finally, the thing I wanted to try last was a tie-dye shirt because I know tie-dye is really in right now and I wanted it to also be really baggy and oversized. It was really cute. It made me really happy. It's really soft and comfortable. I sleep in it almost every day. It makes me extra smiley because it's colorful. I think it's one of my favorite things. Look at that smile. Show to those teeth, girl. If you want to pick up any of these clothes, don't forget to use the code Blair Wanets and thank you, Shan, for sponsoring this part of the video. This then we had to make lunch and oh my goodness, lunch was crazy. Let me explain to you. I saw that Addison really likes buttered noodles. So I was like, okay, I'll use some of these noodles I have at home. This is like buckwheat and sweet potato. And I got this butter that I ordered online. I don't know if it's butter or margarine. I can't tell, but it was time to make these. Now I like how these are perfectly portioned for you. It's funny that they think I'm only gonna eat one portion of pasta, but okay, sis. <laughs> okay, sweet potato noodles, you can dream. I just call you guys my sweet potato wedges. I kind of miss that. Do you miss that? Then I put it in not boiling water because pasta tastes the same if you put it in boiling water or not boiling water. And I don't care what any of the Italians say. I will continue to piss them off in every video. Then I saw that Addison really likes Chick-fil-A, but obviously I can't go to Chick-fil-A right now because of like the quarantine. So I had to make it at home with the things I had, which was a little bit wild. I had chicken, eggs, almond protein, and cheese. Okay. And I looked up if you could make fried chicken with almond flour and you can. It's actually keto. It's keto. It's keto. Taste it. It's keto. So all you have to do is do cheese and almond flour and salt and pepper and seasoning. I know I'm white, but I try to season at least. And then you dip it in the eggs and then you put heavy cream in the eggs too. And that's how you make fried chicken with almond flour. It's kind of buck wild here at the self-quarantining household day 700. We're making things with almond flour now. <laughs> you know when you eat up all the good stuff and only gluten-free stuff and sugar-free stuff is left? Yeah, this is how it feels right now. I threw in some heavy cream and then it was finally time to dip and drop things in here. Me and Nick were having an argument about who moved the charger again for the fifth time and I told him it's our imaginary co-worker Carol because I told him that this Carol person exists so we could stop fighting with each other since we're always home all the time. But he was like, no B, Carol didn't move the phone chargers it was you again and he kept blaming me and I decided I could probably batter him in this almond flour and then in the egg mixture fry him up and feed him to the lions like my mom Carol Baskin. Hey all you cool cats and kittens. Then I realized that was bad and I should not feed my husband to the tigers because I didn't have any sardine oil left so they probably wouldn't enjoy his taste anyway. Do you guys remember that I have ADHD? It's really bad right now. It's flaring up. I can't get anything done. I have crazy anxiety. I can't soothe myself. I don't know what to do with myself anymore. Can you all please stay home so this quarantine can go by faster. I'm tired of being here. Then it was time to play and by this time my pasta had gone cold which is not surprising but don't worry I will still eat it. It may look like prison slop but I will still pretend it's good. It kind of looks like gray hairs or something. I try to fluff it up with a fork but it kind of worked. What do you guys think? It looks like a bird's nest. It looks a little purple. Like who is she? What color is she? Brad Mondo? My pasta dyed its hair and I don't know what to do. I put some of that questionable butter in it which this was actually too much which I never thought I would say too much butter. Ugh. Then I put on the, the fried chicken that is from Chick-fil-A next to it and I saw the disaster I had made and I was shaking my head. This was probably my biggest fail in these eating like videos. Purple buttered pasta and almond fried chicken. Oh my goodness gracious. I mean don't think I've ever failed this bad in one of these cooking videos. Oh the eating like honey boo boo was a little rough too when I try to make like 
uh, tuna casserole, which actually now I really like tuna pasta, but don't tell my old self because I used to talk a lot of shit in the other videos about how disgusting tuna pasta was and now I can't stop eating it and I don't know who I've become. Time for dessert. Oh, the ice cream drawer. Look at what we have. We have Milka brownie and berry, which is probably what I'm gonna eat. We have this individual ice cream that's like half and half. And we have this Toblerone ice cream. But today I'm gonna go for the Milka because I saw that hers was in a bowl, so I'm gonna get a bowl of ice cream. Actually, I'm just gonna eat it right out of the tub. Who are we scamming here? It's quarantine, why would I get a bowl? Hello? It's really frozen right now, but half of this is like chocolate flavor and the other half is vanilla and then it's got chunks of brownies in here and then also chunks of berries and then also chunks of milk chocolate. It's so good. I'm gonna have so much of it, like this spoonful. Wow. I a bit of a <laughs> Why? Why? I've been inside for too long. I'm getting bored. Genius, I did all the dishes, so clean. This plant is from Ikea and it's fake by the way. I'm sure you can tell because it has like a tag sticking out, but I think it adds a nice decoration or I'm just going crazy, I can't tell, bye. Then it was finally time to eat dinner and I noticed that Addison really likes burgers and so do I. So I ordered a burger and started posing with it and I realized I don't look that cute with something in my mouth so I should probably not reply to that Pornhub email. Guys, so Nick just came in because we just ordered our burgers and what are you showing me? Okay, so I gotta show you guys this. So this is crazy, so I ordered this last night and I ate one in the middle of the night which is just Disgusting, <laughs> but I just ordered another one because it was that good. So it's a burger, but the the buns are made out of mac and cheese. I can't. I literally, this is disgusting. And then Fine there's like please. truffle, uh, truffle sauce on top. Oh my god! And bacon. And bacon and, and some, yeah, some vegetables. I ate this at 5 a.m. last night, <laughs> and now I'm eating it again for dinner. <laughs> Quarantine vibes. Is it good? Can That's I so taste good. it? It smells really bacony. It's really good. It's good, right? Dip it in that sauce on top. It's like a truffle sauce. Mm -hmm. I ate it cold in the middle of the night. I didn't even warm it up. So that was me eating like Addison. A totally normal and fun diet, dare I say. This was probably one of my favorites. I highly recommend it. Bye.